Danny from the Glorious Fishing, and we're going out mackerel fishing and going to the lobster pot. Stay tuned, hopefully, it's a good adventure. Lady crabs, two velvet crabs, three velvet crabs, and a little rockfish which I'm going to need for bait. I haven't got any. Nice little rockfish there. Beautiful. Anyway, guys, get onto the second pot now. Oh, hard pull these way. It weren't so bad today, but normally it's a really hard pull. Oh, we just got one spider crab. That's it guys. Anyway, stay tuned, we're gonna play these out and we'll get on to the second set. It's in glorious fishing. <laughs> Up, bit of a mixed bag. First pot, nice lobster there. I don't know if it's going to be in size, it's going to be very close, that's for sure. It's a beautiful lobster, It'll be very close. I'll just try him now. And he's in just, he's bang on the money, guys. Bang on the money. So that's one keeper, that's a good start. Hell yeah. Yeah. Brown edible crab. Now, believe it or not, this would probably be in. Just check. You know, it's in. It's in. It's a lively one, that's for sure. It's a male. The claws ain't that great on it though, but it's definitely in. Feisty little thing, he's full of life. Check him out eating the gauge. Anyway, I might keep him for now. I don't know, Graham might have him. You know, Grand loves that shanker, as you all know. So, got another one there. That's going to be too small. Little lobster there. Little diddy thing, tiny little diddy lobster there. Great looking little lobster. Beautiful. Anyway, back that goes. And we have another little brown edible crab. We'll get rid of that. Just move that over there. I'll bake this up in a second, guys. I'm not gonna bother. Remember that. Second pot. We have an even bigger lobster. That's a keeper, baby. It's only a one hooker, but we'll have it. 
That'll be on going on mum's dinner plate. That's a nice meal, that. We'll just chop them there. We don't want to keep them together. And brown edible crab. Very small one. Little small one there, guys. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to bake these up and we'll get on to this third set. After that great mess, this is a stunker of a brown crab, guys. Look at this. These are the crabs you want. That's a stunker there. That is a massive brown crab. Not massive, massive. They do get a hell of a lot bigger, but you don't want to be pinched by them claws. That's for sure. Check that beast out. It's an absolute beast. That's going to be kept, that one. So that will have to go. Also, I had a lobster, guys. I had to take it out straight away so it didn't get damaged because there's another one in there also. I think that's going to be under. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's going to be under. We'll just check it anyway. Oh, no, it is under. Just under that, guys. Beautiful lobster. Beautiful. Back there it goes. Got another one in here. Another lobo wobbo. Yeah, he's under as well. That's two lobsters in that pot and a big shanker, so that's good going. Like I said, they've been out for eight days, so I did expect some crabs. If not, I don't know what would have happened. So we've got one, two, three, and four lady crabs as well, guys. So that's it for the first pot. Second pot, I'm sure we've got a lobster in there as well, whether it's in size or not, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's in size. Second pot, another lobster there. Beautiful lobster that, absolutely cracking lobster. Let me just check that for gauge. I think it's gonna be in size. Yeah, that's well in size. Yeah, that's an in size lobster, guys. That's great. So yeah, three lobsters. Mum's gonna have a nice weekend, that's for sure. All right, so keep them there. They have another one in here, guys, but too small. I don't even need to check that one. So. Let that one go, nice little prawn. So back he goes, and we have one, two, three lady crabs, and we have another brown crab there. Oh, he's worse for wear, he's dead. The brown crab there, worse for wear. Anyway guys, stay tuned. We've played these out. Oh, there's another little hiding from me, the velvet crab. Another velvet crab. Like I said, stay tuned, we'll play these out and then we'll start feathering some glorious fishing. Watch out! Like a bream. Yeah, 
safe and not, not bad for him neither. It's a nice little bream that guys. Crack a little bream. The old man absolutely loves bream. Black bream. Any bream really, he absolutely loves the black. Not bad black bream that. Not bad at all. That might be for the cook pot. My guy's cut, just come slightly further down. So hopefully, get us up. Twisted up scad there. Yeah, fish on. It's still on. It's not that big. What did it just come off? It just came off, guys. Literally, it just came off. You bloody bugger. Let's get straight back down there. There's plenty of markings. Want a big bream. You know when you got big bream on, that's for sure. They go like hell. Well, this one, guys. Give it a half decent one. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that, guys. That's what you call a black bream. That's like a three pounder for sure. Easy. Easy as three pound bream. Three, four pound that. That is an absolute stonker of a fish. Check that out. That's definitely three, four pound that. Best part of four pound. That's a great stamp of fish. Whoa, that's a beauty. It looks like they've switched on now, guys. Yep, fish on. That's another nice one. Now it has eased up a bit. lose it. It's still a nice fish. That's a two pound black bream. All day long that. Two pounder. Just unlock that one. Great fish. Great fish there guys. Little two pound black bream. Crack up. fun on the feathers I absolutely love it me and smash we used to come out here all the time doing this getting cooches though that's another nice one look oh there's some big boys coming up that's a lovely black bream again look two and a half pound easy two and a half pound they've actually just totally switched on now give me my lure back there it is Guys, we've got it back. That's a two and a half pound black bream. All day long, baby. All day long. They're switched on now. So we just put a little bit more frills on them. We want to keep them attracted, keep them close to us. That's for sure. They're still there. Fish on. It's not a big one, but it's a fish. Size, nice little black bream that. So, 
But they're still down there, guys, that's for sure. Put some stonker fish there. It's turned into a black bream session, not a mackerel session. Fish on. Not a big one. Another little black bream there, guys. We're going to keep some of it pot bait. So, stay tuned. I'm going to bait this up again. We'll go for one last, one more, a couple more drifts. Stay tuned. It's glorious. Yeah. Fish on. Feels like a bream. You can always tell a bream. Is it just, oh, I thought it come off. That's what they do. They slack line you. They're a pain in the ass. Yeah, they fight well, bream. Nice one. Oh, that's not a bad one. There we are, guys. Lovely little black bream there. It's a beautiful fish. Another one about two pound. Yeah, two pound, I'd say. Ow, gotta watch its spines, guys. Anyway, nice fish there. Absolutely beautiful. That's it guys, I think we're going to start making our way in now. Problem is, too much tide now and it seems as soon as it's got dark, the uh, fish have stopped. So, no point being out here. I've got the boat to clean down, got the lobsters to band up and put by. So, got a nice shanker as well, but check this bream out. That was the biggest one of the night. That's a stonker of a black bream. It's a lovely black bream that. Absolutely lovely. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. We're going to start making our way in. Some glorious fishing. We went out Tolga at Mako and ended up being a, a bream session. So that was all good. We had some nice Duncan bream there. I had a biggest bream about four pound. It's just in the bucket there. We had a nice big shanker which Gran's gonna have. She's gonna have one of the bream as well. The old man will have the other one. And we have three lovely lobsters. So they'll be in storage for mum whenever she wants them. She'll come down and grab them. Anyway guys, if you like my channel, like, subscribe. It means a lot that you always keep watching me. I hope you enjoy the fishing adventures. If you want anything changed up, just let me know and I'll try and do it. Hopefully you enjoy the GoPro as well. So stay tuned. It's in glorious fishing. Thanks for watching, guys.